What's going on, everybody? Sergeant Sparkles here. Here we go, Wednesday prayer. We prayed for our giants, 2 Samuel 11, 4. We all struggle with temptation, things we know we shouldn't do. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Some of us have learned to deal with our sinful desires, giants, in a positive way, and some haven't. The best way is to not put ourselves in a situation to compromise. I feel like Captain Obvious for even saying that, but someone needs to hear it. Bringing things to light helps us overcome temptation and begin the healing process. We need to be vulnerable with others and confess our struggles. We also need to be gracious and understanding when someone comes to us to confess. Our initial reaction might be to pass judgment and condemn them. It's another temptation to resist. Confessing something or understanding something either can be difficult. Whatever end we're on in the conversation, it takes honesty and courage to help another person navigate the situation. I struggle with anger, giant. I struggle with anxiety, giant. I don't always deal with those in the healthiest ways. Worldly ways might bring instant gratification, but they can also do immediate or even long-lasting damage. As I'm writing this, I feel like a hypocrite because I am. I know how to handle temptation, prayer, fasting, reading God's word, talking to other believers about my struggle, et cetera, et cetera. What's the answer when I do all those things and they don't work? Am I a failure? Is my faith strong enough? Is God even listening? It sure feels like all those things are true. That's not a rhetorical question, by the way. I really need some answers. This instant. We have to figure out a way to kill the giants in our life before they cause unrepairable damage. A giant sitting on our chest, crushing the air out of our lungs is uncomfortable. Even more, it's even more uncomfortable if we try to deal with it alone. David defeated Goliath, but he lost to Bathsheba. Our giants are the desires we haven't killed yet. Love you guys.